Canon just announced two 4K cameras, but they're not what you think. Sony announced the 50mm f1.2, and I have more Spring Challenge videos for you. This and more after the intro. Hi, I'm Simon. Thanks for tuning in to The Ordinary Filmmaker. Subscribe to get notification of new videos like this one so you don't miss any news, rumors, gear reviews, or tutorials. And a big thanks to Atomos for sponsoring The Ordinary Filmmaker. I'm using the Ninja 5 external recorder for all studio work, and it really does save me a ton of time in post. Want to speed up your editing? Use my links below to get your own Ninja. And now, for the news. Today, Canon announced two 4K PTZ cameras, the CRN300 and the CRN500. I'm going to talk about the CRN300 specifications and then get into the more powerful CRN500. The CRN300 has an 8.29 1 and 2 thirds digit DB sensor. It uses Canon's hybrid autofocus system with built in NDI and HX support, power over Ethernet Plus, and 1.5 lux. It also has HDMI, 3G SDI, and USB video output. Now, in terms of video modes, the CRN300 can capture 4K up to 30 frames per second and up to 60 frames per second in 1080. And as far as panning goes, it can pan between 0.2 and 300 degrees per second and tilt between 0.2 and 170 degrees per second. And it offers a 20 times optical zoom. Now the CRN300 can be used as a webcam via USB connection though. At $2,600, it might be the most expensive webcam you would own. But joking aside, this isn't really for the ordinary filmmaker, and it's certainly more than a high-resolution security camera. It's very powerful. Now, let's talk about the four modes that it offers. In portrait mode, sharp focus is achieved while blurring the background. Sport mode enhances the ability to capture moving objects. And in low light mode, well, it brightens images when in dim or dark shooting situations. And in spotlight mode, it allows users to capture beautiful images in brightly lit situations. Now, if you're still with me and you're not disappointed that this wasn't a mirrorless camera such as an R-System camera or the EOS M, let's go ahead and talk about the next camera. Now, the CRM500 is a professional 4K NDI camera with a 15 times zoom, a little less than the N300, but it does offer a larger 1-inch CMOS sensor and comes with Canon's dual-pixel autofocus with focus guides, as well as face detection and tracking. Now, like the CRN300, it has HDMI, 3G SDI output, but also provides IP video output. It has the same video capabilities, 4K up to 30 frames per second, and up to 60 frames per second in 1080. It has an independent built-in 3-density ND filter, and a 9-blade iris that can provide natural bokeh with diffused diffracted light. The N500 also supports Canon Log 3. Wow, we don't even have that on the R5 yet. Now, Canalog 3 can be used for color grading for wide dynamic range gamma of 800%, along with image quality mode and adjustments, so basically you enhance everything in post. Now, it's not cheap at $53.99, but for a PTZ camera with these capabilities, it's a steal and it provides more opportunities to filmmakers at a lower price point. And like the CRN300, the CRN500 has built in ND... ND try this again. Like the... <laughs> Oh my god, I can't say this. I'm going to try this again. And like the CRN300, the CRN500 has built-in NDI... Oh, I did it again. Okay, one more time. And like the CRN... <laughs> and like the CRN N300, the CRN N500 has built-in NDI HX support and 15 times zoom. I just couldn't get out NDI HX together. Even now I'm having trouble. Anyhow, so again, the N300, the CRN300, lists for $26.99, while the N500 for $53.99. Three cheers for the Sony FE 50mm f1.2 GM lens. If you love super sharp images and beautiful bokeh, or tone as Casey likes to call it, it's now available for purchase at $19.98 from Amazon UK, US, and B&H. Although I wish it was priced like it was $19.98 instead of costing $19.98. Now, if you're interested in this lens, please use my affiliate links below to help support the channel. And also, if you're interested in those PTZ cameras, I've got the links down below for those as well. But before moving on to our next item, it's worth pointing out that the 50mm is Sony's 60th E-mount lens. Not too many know that the E-mount was first implemented on consumer APS-C cameras a little over 10 years ago. And then, of course, adapted to full-frame cameras like the Alpha 1 using a built-in adapter. 
That's a staggering 60 lenses in 11 years. To put that in perspective, Canon has 107 EF lenses for their DSLRs, which can also be mounted on their R system using an adapter. But those lenses were designed starting in 1986 with the EF mount. And then, of course, in around the early millennium, the EF-S mount. Now, while Sony only has 60 lenses, they've done it in 11 years, and that's an astonishing pace. It's no wonder that Sony has risen up to number two in worldwide interchangeable lens camera sales. And now, let's go behind the scenes. Several weeks ago, I launched the Spring Challenge with the Village Mayor, and I said, look, I've got a great idea. It's spring, or spring is starting now. At the time when I shot the video, it didn't feel very spring here in central northern Ontario. It felt pretty cold. It felt pretty wintry. But I was feeling down, and for much of, I guess, January and February, I just, I had seasonal affective disorder, or whatever they call that thing. And it just means that the lack of daylight, everything that's going on, I just felt really down. So I thought, what better way to pick up our spirits than to, bring, than to bring back the spring challenge? I did it a year ago, and I said, look, go outside, capture spring as it's happening, capture spring in, in what it means to you. It could be life's rebirth, it could be the melting of snow, it could be spring autumn festival, sorry, spring autumn festival, it could be the spring festival, it could be New Year's. Uh, we're coming up to the Persian New Year in about, well, in about a week. So the spring means different things to many of us, and some of us live in the tropics where you don't even see snow unless, of course, you're in the mountains. So I launched the Spring Challenge, and what I challenge you to do is go out there and shoot a video in anywhere at least 30 seconds, and it could be as long as you wanted. And the winner, the winner, would get a 512 gigabyte CF Express card from Angelbird, as well as an Angelbird CF Express card reader. So that's pretty good value, it's somewhere between $400 and $500. So I'm not going to get into the details, you can watch this video here, but what I want to update you with today is I've got another entry and I want to show that to you. And this entry is from Dr. Hans and he's from Sweden. And he starts off with a very frozen landscape, kind of the landscape I dealt with when I launched the Spring Challenge many, many weeks ago. And of course, you can see that things are starting to melt. Things are getting ready for life to return. And I love that about this video here. Now, we don't see any life returning yet, but we can see the scene being set. It's just waiting for life to return. I'm going to keep showing you guys snippets of these videos. If you want to see the full video, take a look down in the links below. I've got all the current entries. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how many entries I get on April the 1st. Now, I'm, I'm, what I initially thought to do is I would do a poll looking at five videos. I would pick the five videos and then I'd get you to vote on which one you thought was the best and the winner with the most votes would get the prize. But if I get 10 or maybe 11 or 12, what I might do is I'll start off with multiple polls. I'll do a poll for a couple of days and I'll do another one and then I'll take the best five or the, the highest five and then I'll do another poll and you guys get to pick. Let me know which you would like to do. I don't want to drag this on for weeks and weeks. But I want to try to give everybody a fair chance, and I want to try to move my bias out of this. I want you to be able to pick the winner. I want you to see that I'm not doing any smoke and mirrors here. And then what's going to happen with the winner? Once they're announced, I'll communicate with that winner through Facebook. I'll get some information. I'm going to need their address, their name, and a phone number. And then I'm going to forward that to Angelbird, and they're going to ship it out to you directly. So that's what I've got planned coming up. So that's pretty exciting. I'm, I, and again, thank you so much for contributing to the channel because what you're doing is by participating, not only are you getting out there and using your cameras and having fun, but you're also contributing to the content on this channel. You're making it more of a community channel. And I know there's more of you. I know there are more videos coming. And if you've thought, ah, oh, this isn't good enough, you know what? Take another look at it. Take another spin. Maybe shoot a few more video clips. Maybe change some of the editing, the color. Maybe. Out of, you know, are your clips really long? Are you going with that style? Are you trying to shorten them up? Just take a few days. You've got plenty of weeks. You don't have to get it in right away. But give it a shot. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Nothing. But if you win, you could win the Angel Bird package, uh, which is a 512 gigabyte CF Express card, which is not cheap, and of course a, um, a card reader. But you could also win one of these hats, the Ordinary Filmmaker hats, and so I'm going to be giving away five of these, one to the winner and four to the runner-up, so that's all planned. But that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching The Ordinary Filmmaker.
Don't forget to subscribe for your chance to win two Angelbird 128GB AV Pro MK2 V90 UHS-2 SD cards along with an Angelbird dual UHS-2 SD card reader. Or you could also win a Ulanzi LED light package with accent lights, underwater lights, or various other flat panel lights that you can use for lighting your subjects, or as a starter kit for your own YouTube channel. I'll be awarding these two prize bundles once the channel reaches 30,000 subscribers. And of course, I'll be offering up other prize bundles all the way up to 100,000, at which point I'll be awarding a brand new Canon EOS R5 full-frame mirrorless camera to one lucky viewer. And on that bombshell, thanks so much for watching The Ordinary Filmmaker. We'll see you again soon.